After you assign an instrument, you'll see that it appears on the instrument output here on the track. MIDI data from your MIDI controller is stored on the instrument track, and then you can open this up in the MIDI editor where you can edit it and quantize it. Then that MIDI data is sent to the instrument, and that's turned into an audible audio signal. But one thing I want to show you is that you can actually add instruments to your song without even creating an instrument track. If you open your mixer, remember this is F3 or Function F3, and you click on this instrument tab here, this will open up an extra column where you can view all of the available instruments in your song. You can see the Mai Tai instrument I created in the previous video, and you can click the plus button to add a new one. This time I'm going to add a third party instrument. I'm going to add Serum. Now notice that Serum is here in the list. There is a separate channel strip for it in the mixer. However, there's still no instrument track for it up in the main area here. And you'll also notice that I can't record or input monitor this because I haven't assigned a MIDI controller as an input for this track. So right now my instrument track is being sent to Mai Tai. But if I were to change this to Serum, now this instrument track is routing MIDI data to Serum. So that was just a really basic preset. Let me choose something a bit more interesting. Now I could create two different instrument tracks so that I could play both of these instruments separately. However, if I want to combine them together as one multi-instrument, this is also pretty easy to do. Back down in the mixer here, I'll click the plus button and I'll search up multi and I'll create a multi-instrument. Now what I can do is I can drag Mai Tai on top of this and I'll also drag Serum on top of this. And what you'll see is that MIDI data is going to come into both of these instruments at the same time. Then on my instrument track, I'll just change the output to multi-instrument. And when I play notes, you'll hear that both instruments are playing at the same time. You can also add effects inserts to these. So here on my effects inserts, I'll add the mix verb. Now if I want to save this entire instrument plus its effects as a preset that I can recall for later, all you have to do is come down here to your multi-instrument, click on the down arrow, and select store preset. I'll call this my tie plus serum reverb. And now in my browser, you'll see that under multi-instruments, my tie plus serum reverb shows up here as a preset. So if I were to close out all of this and get rid of my track, I'll press Shift T to remove the track. And in my mixer, I'll even remove the multi-instrument down here. Now if I create a new instrument, I can drag the multi-instrument preset directly on that track, and it loads up both Mai Tai and Serum, plus the mix verb that I saved from before. Now when I'm ready to record, I can just turn on the metronome down here, or you can press C to toggle this. And if you want to count in, you can click here, or you can press Shift C to toggle this. Then I'll press asterisk on my number pad to start recording. And then just press spacebar to stop recording. If you don't have a full size keyboard and you can't use asterisk to record, you can go up here under Studio One Keyboard Shortcuts Search up the word record, select the record transport option, and you can create a custom shortcut to record. For me, I used control option command R as an alternative to using asterisk on the number pad. 